Hey there, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I have a quick photo effect that I want to show you. I want to show you how you can apply this um, photo effect to a portrait. And let me show you the original image, which is this. So I'm going to show you how to get from this to this. Uh, we will only use adjustment layers, so uh, it will not be uh, anything very complicated. I hope you like it and let's get started. So because we're only going to use adjustment layers, you can create an action for this and that's uh, very handy because it, uh, you can apply the same effect to different images uh, very easily. So what I have to do now is close this image and open, uh, well, close the PSD and open the image, which is this one. So uh, what I will do is I will open this uh, actions panel and I'll save the action in my folder. I'll create a new action, I'll call it, I don't know, fantasy photo effect and that's it and now the, the action is being recorded uh, you're not recording time just um, actions and menus and everything that you add in fact you can leave this open here to see how this is being recorded so the first thing I want to do is create a copy of the background layer now also keep in mind that um, the actions work uh, differently if you have uh, Photoshop in a different language for example, if I save this action and I'll give you this action, uh, it might not work exactly the same on your Photoshop because uh, it's looking for the same layer names, I think, I'm not sure. So, um, as I said, what I want to do now is create a copy by creating uh, by pressing Control command j and you can see here on the, palette, uh, on the panel I can see the new action being recorded. And I will turn this into a smart object uh, just in case uh, I want to modify the settings here. And next I will go to image adjustments and choose shadows and highlights. What I want to do is reduce the contrast on this image. I'll give you the exact numbers that I have here. So for the shadow for the shadows I have 15, tonal width uh, 55 and the radius I use the quite big radius 200 uh, pixels and you can see the before and after, okay? Now for the highlights uh, I have 10 tonal width 25 and radius 170 now highlights um, the more you increase the amount here the more you drop the highlights but here the image is burned uh, totally so there's not much to recover but you might have to change this slightly depending on your image as I said the result is to add more light on the image and reduce the contrast and uh, here on the color corrections I'll leave this uh, to zero but I'll change the midtone contrast to minus 10 Okay, that way I reduce a bit of the contrast. And I'll click OK now. Great. Um, the next thing I want to do is add some light. Uh, well, not add some darkness on this part of the image. This might work different for, for your portrait. If you have a source of light somewhere else, you might have to move this around or uh, not even needing this new layer that I'm, that I'm going to add. So what I will add is a, uh, a gradient. Okay, um, make sure that you have uh, black to, to transparent, so set this to black and set this to black as well and we have the black to transparent. Click OK and ch I'll change the style to radial and I'll reverse it because I want to have this hole here. And what I want to do now is increase the scale. Now uh, something like that, maybe about 200 something like that. I just want to uh, have the light here and darken a bit this part here uh, on the bottom. But as I said, your image might not need this, so um, judge it for yourself. I'll click OK and I'll change the blend mode of this adjustment to soft light. Okay, and you can see how it changes. Uh, it makes this part a bit darker, but it's too dark, so I'll drop it to about 50% or maybe even 40 or something like that. Great. Now let's move on and add a curves adjustment. Now here what we need to do is go inside each of these channels here and we will change the output to 20 on all of the channels. Just the output on the bottom.